the Carrot Top Cook. Today we'll be working with eggs. Here are some recipes you can make with it. Today we're going to be making fried eggs, scrambled eggs, shakshuka, bullseyes, hard boiled eggs, and deviled eggs. Be sure to wash your hands. Alright, let's get started with recipe number one, fried eggs. Hello, camera two. Alright, so you pour some of your olive oil into the pan, and you spread it around a bit, and then once it's all on there, you crack an egg into it. So how do you crack an egg? You take one of the sides, hit it against the pan until it starts to crack a bit, and that's how you can tell it's cracking. Then put both thumbs over the crack and push in and out. The in and out motion is really needed because that helps the egg go out of the shell. So you're going to crack two eggs into the pan, and you put it the side of it, wait for it to crack, put both thumbs in, in and out. And if you happen to get any shell in, use a spoon to get it out. Once you've cracked them in, you want to turn the stove onto a low and cover. And then turn it to low medium. Be sure to always have your handles facing towards the counter, not out here. Because if somebody happens to walk along, they could pour it over and onto them and burn themselves. Do you hear that popping? That popping is telling you that it's almost ready. When the popping starts to um, slow down a bit, you can uncover it, and that's how you know it's almost done. Now... When it's done, turn off the flame and move it away from the heat source. It'll start to cool down, and then you can eat it. When the, when the yolks have been covered in the white, that's good, because that's how you know it's cooked. It's cooked all the way. And once the bubbling and popping has ceased, you can put it on a plate and eat it. Now once it's cooled down, you can put any topping you want on there. You can put salt, ketchup, you can put it on a piece of bread. But if you put it on a piece of bread, uh, some of the yolk might leak out, so the bread is good for soaking that up. The yolk's the yellow part. So then you slowly transfer it onto the plate. And voila! Fried eggs. <laughs> The next recipe we're going to make are scrambled eggs. So first, you're going to pour a bit of olive oil into the pan. I'm going to spread that around. Just enough to cover the pan. Not too much, not too little, or else it'll just be a bit oily. Next step. I'm going to crack two or three eggs into the bowl, depending on how many people. But right now, I'm going to crack in two. And then you whisk it together with a fork. Until it's all blended. And then you pour in a little milk just to add some fluffiness. 
just a little bit. When you start to see white stripes while you're pouring it, that's what, when you know to stop. And I get some nice golden yellowy white. Come over to your pan, pour it in, whole mixture, into there. And you turn it on to medium. Excuse me. And then you tend to it with a spatula. Make sure none of it gets stuck on the sides. And wait for it to start to get, like, conjoined. Meaning, like, as soon as it starts to form scrambled eggs. That's when you turn off the heat. You turn off the flame, remove it from the heat source, and keep stirring so that the heat inside the pan keeps cooking it. Be very careful not to burn yourself. These are very hot eggs. Some people like them a bit harder, so with that you want to keep it on the flame until it's all the way formed and then take it off. But I like mine a bit fluffy and soft, so I take it off the flame before it's all the way cooked. And here you have scrambled eggs. Same thing with the fried eggs. You can add salt, you can add ketchup, you can add salsa. Anything's really good with eggs. Shakshuka is an Israeli dish that uses eggs and tomato sauce to make an amazing meal. So the first thing you're going to do is pour your tomato sauce into your pan. And spread it all over. Like so. Be very careful. And then turn on the heat to medium. And cover it for a bit. Once the tomato sauce is uh, hot, you want to take off the lid. It's bubbling. So this recipe is going to use four eggs. So you crack the eggs. You crack them. Be very careful not to burn yourself. Gosh. <laughs> Crack the egg in. You want, you want them quickly. That way one egg doesn't finish before the other one. And then you cover it. Mm -hmm. So one thing you can do to change this recipe up a bit is to saute some vegetables before you pour in the tomato sauce. That way it gives it a bit of an herby taste and not uh, just tomato sauce and eggs, which is still pretty good, but the herby taste adds a bit of flavor to it. So you're going to take the lid off. Ooh, that's beautiful. Come over your camera too. It's nice and orange around the eggs. So now you want to turn off the heat. Um, remove it from the heat source, let it cool down for four or five minutes. Take your spatula, scoop out one of the eggs, and put it onto a plate. But if you want to split it up between you and another family member, give you two, give them two, or you give each person one. You take it, and everything around it. You scoop it up. Um take a bit of the tomato sauce, pick it up, place it around it, you 
You can even put some on top. That's always good. And you have shakshuka. Eggs and tomato sauce. <laughs> The next recipe we're going to make is called bullseyes. So you take your bread, you cut an egg-sized hole in the middle, or just rip it out, that's what I'm doing, about that size, and place the hole over there. You can butter or olive oil the pan after you're done ripping a hole in the bread. The bread. So I'm going to olive oil it. I'm going to spread that around a bit. Be sure the handle's facing away from the edge. So, um, you put your bread into the pan. If it doesn't fit, rip off an edge or two. And now it fits. And then you turn on the heat to low. And you crack a single egg into the center. Whatever. Some people like to toast it and then crack it in, but I'm using it as a cut hole, put in, and put egg. So then you cover it and turn up the heat a bit to medium. Be careful that it doesn't come out of the, uh, come above the pan, because that can burn the paint. And then, when you start to hear the popping noise, you know that it's almost ready. Something fun you can do is put a piece of cheese on the top so that it melts on. It is really nice. So I'm going to move this plate. And here's a bullseye. <laughs> We're going to make hard boiled eggs now. And um, first step is to boil some water. So you want to fill up your pot two-thirds of the way, that way it doesn't boil over. And the next thing you're going to do is add a pinch of salt. Just like a quick dash. That helps the boiling. And then you turn it on to medium. And wait for it to boil. So you're going to take your eggs, I'm using five. Drop them in using a spoon or this special contraption which I have. And you're going to wait four minutes for a soft boil, five minutes for a medium boil, and twelve minutes for hard boil. We're gonna wait twelve minutes. Do 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 do. And thanks to movie magic, they're done! So you're going to scoop out the eggs using your spoon. Be careful not to burn yourself on the water. And put them directly into ice cold water. That'll make them easier to peel. Make sure they're completely covered, all of them. Let them sit for about a minute. And then you should be good. Uh, here's something you can do with uh, hard boiled eggs. The next recipe we're going to make is called deviled eggs. Now you have your hard-boiled eggs. What to do? You can eat them right out of the shell. Be careful, they're very hot. They're good for after school. They're good for before school. They're good for school. You can have them anytime you want. They're really good. They're high in protein, which is good for your body. But what we're going to make today are deviled eggs. 
So you want to take your eggs, that are now ice cold, carefully take them over so that you don't spill, and crack them. You crack them along the counter, and then you peel them. I'm going to peel them back into the ice cold bowl. So, once they're peeled, you're going to take a knife, and you're going to cut them down this way. Not this way, this way. So, you're going to cut the eggs. Remember, this way, not this way. Alright, so once you have the yolks all facing outwards, you want to scoop them out with a spoon and put them into a bowl. Very carefully as not to break the outside whites. And by movie magic, they're all in the bowl. Now you want to mash up the yolks, like this. The next thing you're going to add, mayonnaise. So you're going to mix the mayo and the yolk together. Alright, now that it's a paste, you want to add in a bit of mustard. So you scoop a spoonful in, and stir that all together. And the next thing we're going to add in is a bit of paprika. If you don't have paprika, you can use pretty much any spice in this, as long as it's a powder. And then you stir the paprika in. You're going to be using the paprika a bit later to garnish it. And once all the egg yolk, mayo, and paprika and mustard are stirred together, you want to take the mixture and put it back into the eggs. this. And then the last thing to do before the deviled eggs are finished, pour a bit of paprika onto each. Slowly tap the bottle. And then when they're done, cheers. Mm. It's good. <laughs>